In this video, I am going to solve a problem using another method since I have already solved this problem using double integration method and moment area method. So this time, I am going to use the three moment equation. Now, in using three moment equation, our redundant is internal moment and not the reactions. And after determining the moment at the support, that's the time that we can solve for the reaction C. This is a continuous beam having two spans, having a concentrated load of 12 kips at mid span for the left span, and a uniformly distributed load of three kips per foot for the right span. So there's only one redundant, and that is MB because the moment at A is zero, and the moment at C is also zero. So we only need one equation to solve for the redundant moment at B. Now, the simplified equation for three moment equation, uh, assuming E and I are constant, and also assuming that there are no support settlements the simplified equation is this. MA, moment at the left, left point, which is A, times L1, length of the left span, plus 2 times MB, moment sa middle na point, times quantity L1 plus L2, plus moment sa right point, Right support C times L2, length of the right span, plus this term 6A1, A1 bar over L1, plus 6A sub 2, B2 bar over L2. Now, for different loads, we have um, values for this. Okay, for common loads. Okay. So, MA is zero, MC is also zero. Now, this term is for the left span. And for the left span, the load is acting at the mid span. So there is a formula for that. And this one is for the right span, uniformly distributed. There is also a formula for that. So let us recall. Okay. For a concentrated load acting at the mid span, the value of 6 AA over L is 3 PL squared over 8. So, this one, 3 times P times L squared over 8, and the value is 648. Now, for this one, 6 A2 B2 bar over L2 is for the right span. And okay, for a uniform load over the entire span, the value of 6EB over L is W L cube over 4. Okay. So it's W times L cube over 4. It's equal to 1,296. So we are going to substitute these values, say equation, and we can solve for MD. Okay. So, next step is substitute values. No? 2 times MB, L1 plus L2 plus 648 and 1296. So, you add and then transpose negative divided by 2 and then divided by 24. The result is negative 40. Point five. Okay. And the direction for a negative moment is for the left side, it's clockwise, and the right, it's counterclockwise. This is for negative moment. No? Because when in the analysis of beams, when you cut a section and you analyze the left side, the positive direction for moment or the positive sign convention for moment is counterclockwise. 
if you analyze the left side. So if the value is negative, it means na clockwise. And for the right side, uh, positive convention for moment is clockwise. And since negative, so therefore counterclockwise. So the next step here is we cut a section at B and then we separate um, span AB and span BC. And then we solve for the reactions. Okay, so we have span AB and span BC, and then we apply the moment at B, 40.5, and for the right span, 40.5. Now, consider span AB as simply supported beam also, and also span BC. So, we have RA, RB1, RB2, and RC. So, for span EB. We sum up moment uh, for beam EB. We sum up moment about A. And we can solve for RB1. And this is the equation. Negative 12, since our sun convention is counterclockwise, positive. So about A, 12 is clockwise, so negative. Negative 12 times distance. And then moment negative also clockwise plus RB1 times distance 12. And simplify, add, and then transpose. After that, divided by 12, the result is 9.375. And then to solve for RA, sum up for sub-vertical. And the value is 2.625 kips. Now, for beam BC, you sum up moment about C, and you can solve for RB2. So, for the uniform load, um, the resultant is 3 times 12, acting at the centroid, 3 times 12, the distance is 6. And then, plus 40.5, and then RB2 is negative, no? clockwise. Negative RB2 times distance 12. So, you add these two terms, transpose negative, divided by negative 12, and RB2 is equal to 21.375. And to solve for RC, we sum up for the vertical. RC plus RB2 minus this one. Uniform load 3 times 12. And RC is equal to 14.625. And to solve for RB, we will add RB1 and RB2. And the value is 30.75 gips. Now, you can check these values using the other two methods. No? Okay. The video is already available sa YouTube channel. And for the shear moment diagram, you can also uh, view the diagrams uh, um, other video, other video file. So I hope that you have learned something from this video presentation. Thank you for watching. Oh.